What the hell? You not drink it? I'm supposed to drink because you want me to drink? Yeah. I always got to drink because you want me to drink. Are you You're supposed to drink because you got a glass with your, with your ah, name on it? Ah, this cookie. Look at that. And my name on it. We got glasses. Yeah, we, last, we doing big, big things. Last week it was t-shirts. This week it's glasses. Uh, by the way, what I thought you were supposed to wear your shirt. All right, you want me to put it on now? Uh, and, the, and the commercial break. All right, hold up. How's that? Oh, well, damn, either it's me, then it's wine, or did you just, how you do that? I did it. Hey, like Clark Kent. Magic, it's magic. Mm. Hey, man, welcome to another week. What is this, episode four? Episode four. Up. Episode four, but the fifth installment. What that mean? Because we did a pilot episode. Uh, okay. Episode so four. Just say four. Episode four, whatever. Episode four, disturbingly random. Um, we're back again. Got a couple of things to talk about. You see my paper? See, I got a picture of that, but you see my paper? Yeah. Yeah. I got some stuff. I got some stuff to gas. I hope you're ready. I'm always ready, because yeah. I got to be on point with you, because I never know what's going to come out your mouth. Exactly. I so, hope you're ready. Yeah. Welcome back. Jay Amir Beats. Hey, um, and by the way, just so you know, I'm Rome. This is when she swallows. I mean, <laughs> this is Cookie. Miss Cookie. This is Miss Cookie. When I swallow? Yeah. Mm. yeah. The guys are going to love that. The guys are going to love this. No, really. Hey, man, um, I got a couple of things to talk about. A couple of things that are happening in the news. Here um, we go. You, hey, listen, you had some stuff you was asking me about, but I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm taking, I'm winging this one. Okay, go I'm ahead. taking the wheel on this and anything. I'm right, going. Go ahead, go ahead. I um, had Tiffany Haddish. She got on the stage. She was drunk as hell. And anything, right? I hate talking a lot about like people in, in like uh, in, in Hollywood and yeah. movies and all that stuff like that. But that's my girl. It's just so much happening now. But that's my got, girl. I know it's your girl. It's everybody's okay. girl. All right. Everybody have a moment. So she was drunk as hell. And anything. Do you ever go to work drunk? Next I question. don't answer that. <laughs> she said next question. All right. Tiffany Haddish was drunk as hell and anything and forgot her lines. Maybe she forgot her um Maybe her, that was part of the skin. Yeah? Yeah. You think that was part of it? Yeah. Right. I mean That could be part of that. Like, they, 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 they ain't laughed, so I guess that wasn't part of that. They didn't they didn't like that. The people who was um, at the show. They didn't like it. Mm. So hell of an act she had, right? Well, everybody can have a, a oopsie day. An oopsie day. Yeah. Oopsie I mean day. I mean, yeah, yeah. But listen, my thing is that when you're getting paid a lot of money, you don't really got an oopsie day to have. I just, I don't think so. You don't get that. Even that issue, you make regular money. If you're doing regular stuff... Everybody's not perfect, though. Everybody's not perfect. But All right. If, but if you're doing regular stuff, get regular pay. Because when you're getting paid a lot of money, you're supposed to perform to a high ability. Wow. That's okay. just what I feel. Like uh, football players. I don't think that football players, and they, like when a football player do something that's regular, like he do some regular nonsense out there, and they get one off the field, it's time for him to be paid regularly. As a regular I'm person. Odell Beckham, because he done pissed me off. He done pissed me all the way off. But he's he trying. He's trying. He's on he the, the highest time. paid. Oh, trying what? And you you, all, you getting paid to sit on the bench with Dan? Let me just... I can do that job. I don't even watch football, but I got you. I, I've been hearing about it. Yeah. Right. So Does he need a girlfriend, though? Who? Tiffany? I mean, I mean, so Odell Beckham? Yeah. What do you mean? Do he need a girlfriend? I have his girlfriend. Maybe he don't like girls. Who knows? I don't know. I never seen him with a girl. That's all I'm saying. You never heard him with a girl either. Maybe private. It could be private. Private is cool. Private is cool. Private is the new 2019 move. And we're gonna talk about that. I want to ask you a lot. Of, I want to talk to you about that in a minute. Um, you watched Surviving R. Kelly. Yeah. I'm sure everybody did. Everybody, no, I did not. You didn't watch Surviving R. Kelly. No, I did not. That's good. That's good. But what do you know? About R. Kelly, that everybody should know without even having to watch the show. Did he like little girls? And keep them away from your damn kids, right? Yeah, that's common sense. So everybody think that by watching this show, they learning something new. It's as simple as pie. It's what ABC. is it? So they thinking in the show is teaching them something? That's what they think. Grown women. These are grown women. These are all the grown women who like you know what I'm saying. Um, your body's calling, and sex me and twelve play and. He been singing this since. 
day one. Exactly. Day one. And they bump you knew he liked one. young girls when he married Aaliyah. I just didn't want to say her name. I, I want know. her soul to rest in it. Pete yeah, in yeah. heaven. I, I'm listening, man. I feel the same way, but people try to act like they don't want to hold everybody accountable who should be held accountable He's in that whole situation. He's in the closet. <laughs> nah, he, he out the closet. He's been out the closet for a long time. He's been letting them know. He's been telling them what he do. But it's like, you know what? So that means when people sing and rap, you really got to listen to it because they really be telling you. Sometimes. Sometimes. You know, sometimes. A lot of the young rappers today, they're telling themselves anyway. If they don't say it in the lyrics, they're going to say it on Instagram or something. So, you know, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes people... So R. Kelly's been telling herself all along. He's, he's been saying this. He's been saying this. And I that's mean, how he's been making his music. Telling on his own self. So. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Something to learn. Let's see like, if I can make an album like but that. You should. You shouldn't just tell everything. Just tell everything. No. Yeah. But, yo, you know what the crazy thing is, though, about this art? And I'm, I'm going to let it rest. But it's like, R. Kelly, he, you know, he was found um, not guilty in anything in his case in 18 years ago. Um, he'd been paying out, you know, crazy sums to people and they, they money to people, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, getting NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, so that nobody can say nothing about whatever, not even himself, so he don't speak about it in interviews. But my issue is, when, aside from the people in his camp and his crew who see him with young girls and they don't put the brakes on it, they don't say nothing, whatever like that, for the past 25, 30 years, aside from that and anything, right, it's like, what about the parents? First of all, what parent will allow their child to go to his house without parental supervision? Yeah, and if you know, if you've already heard him doing this 20 years ago and anything, right, why are you letting him go to the house to get the ago? money and then to bring it back up right now to get more money? So, simple question. Was, was, uh, was Sparkle, um, should, should Sparkle be held accountable for that little 15 year old that was on that tape? I didn't watch it yet. I told you that. But you remember the tape? That was Sparkle's niece. Oh, that was her niece? Yeah. Should she, she be, beat on? Yeah, should she be held accountable? Why did she take her niece there? That's all I want to ask. I want, I want everybody to think about that. Um, another thing I want to ask you. Um, would you... I'm not going to get into that. I was going to ask you about Bird Box. Did you see Bird Box? That shit's stupid. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. You telling me, if I take this off, I'm going to die? Mm-hmm. But well, let me see. I'm still alive. <laughs> bird Box is crazy. And you everybody doing that Bird Box challenge. And that's retarded, too. Why I can't make a movie so everybody can do it? Let me see. I got to figure something out. You got to stop smoking weed. You got to smoke mad weed. And then you just come up with crazy stuff. That's how you do it. Mm. Tell me. No, 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 no. Because when I used to smoke it, I used to have a lot of ideas. Hold on, hold on. Tell, tell, tell people about what happened to you when you smoked weed. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to tell it. Okay, one time I was smoking some marijuana. Some marijuana. And that's what baby, you Baby, that was some serious shit I was smoking. Because I called myself trying to cook a Cornish hen. And I was so high, I thought that bitch was a baby with no head and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> I knew it wasn't weed. It wasn't for me no more after that. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Couldn't do it. But my girlfriend, she came and got it out the garbage and told me I was crazy. She, and she rinsed yeah, it off. She rinsed it off and cooked yeah. it. Incredible. Mm -hmm. oh, man. But that shit was scary though, cause I really, cause I was holding. You know how you hold it up and yeah, clean yeah, it, and yeah, I was yeah. like, it's a baby with no head. <laughs> I, said, I don't know Yo, what kind of way that had, but I, that was that was some down. I ain't never want that again. Yo, you off the hook. Yo, what's up with power? When is power coming back? He said. Yeah, he said February is something else, and then Power is next. And he he doing some auditions for a new show. BMF, for the BMF movie. Okay. That's need, the Black, should, Black Mafia family. Um, I should be in that. Yeah, that's from Big Meech and them down I, in I'm Atlanta. I should be in that. Try for it. I think I I I ain't, I'm not I don't think I know. I'm telling Fifty, holla at me, Miss Cookie. How, how I'm telling you. What? Holla at her. I think you. I think you I should. know I could. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that you should. I'm about to make 2019 the just biggest run, year. Just running there on the blind and just be like this, yo. I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. Oh wait, some things I might not be down with though. I'm just, so, so let me ask you. So so what they want you to do a sex scene? Would you do it? We gotta, we gotta get my tummy tuck. They uh, they they gonna make sure that you don't see none of that. No, it's gonna be real for real. We gotta really do no, sex. No, no. You gotta you know the camera work. That's all camera work. 
Oh, so I ain't, I'm not really going to be doing no sex anymore. You're going to be in a position or whatever like that, but you might not be actually having intercourse. Oh, okay, I'll do that. So they gonna wait, but is he gonna make my stomach look like a yeah, small? Yeah, you might not. They might not even catch your stomach in a scene. They might just catch you, you know, catch a facial oh, expression, right. or whatever, or whatever. If you do that when you have a sex, then I hope they don't catch that scene. I don't ever want to see that. Yo, I don't. I don't want to see that scene. Cut that scene. Cut that. That's a commercial break. That's a commercial break right there. If you, well, be if you do that, <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You said a position, a pose, not a position, a pose. Yo, would you ever go on a blind date? This is 2019. I'm not settling no more. Enough is enough. Hey, man, listen. You gotta try new things out in 2019. Exactly. Blind date. Okay. Try it out. Okay. But how am I supposed to go on a blind date? Who's supposed to... So when you go on a blind date, you gotta meet... How am I supposed to do this? That's gonna be my part. I'll do that. I'll handle that part. I'll get you... I'll get you... I'll get the guy. I'll plug y'all in together or whatever like that and everything and then y'all go on the blind date. Yo, that'd be so dope. We could have it. We could, and I film, can I film it? Maybe we could find a Miss Cookie. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's do that. I'm telling you. We're going to go to a restaurant. Uh-huh. I'm not going to no fast food joint. Don't do that shit to me. We're going to try to get, we're going to try to get, um, nah, that'd be dope too. You go to, you go to a fast food spot. What the heck? No, there ain't no damn blind date. Well, I suppose he want to take you to a fast food spot. The date is over? Yes. Yo, women kill me. Y'all kill me with, like, your standards and everything. Is Why like, do I want to go to TGIF? You know, okay, you no, know, wait, do you know you what? Eat, do you eat TGIF? Yeah. Now, you know what? I might go because it's a blonde date. All right. Because it's a blonde date. Just because it's a blonde. Now, if it was somebody you knew, mm-hmm. like, you knew it, and it was like, okay, it could be a love connection, mm-hmm. we're not doing that. Let me ask you something. Why do women? Why 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 do women want a date to be in a place other than where they go on a regular anyway? That's like like if you go to TGI okay. and then you meet a guy and he taking you out on a date, he take you to TGI like this. Ew, I'm going to TGI. Why are you ill? Why ill? Because you you're supposed to show the show her worth. You know she not, she but, worth more than that. So, but if she's going in on her own anyway, then okay, I tell her. she can go in on her own, like you said. So I should be taking her somewhere that she's never like she can't go by herself. T- show her the finer things of life. I take her to the moon. Take her how to you the moon. gonna get there? How you gonna get there? I'm just saying. It's like in this day and age, everybody can go. But don't you want to take a woman to show her the finer things of life? Yes. All right yes, then. So saying, you taking her somewhere she can age, take herself? That's not the finer things of life. But in this day and age, and everything, women. That's just like she can go buy her own self a flower and come to the date and say, "I she? bought my flowers." But can't she? But can't she? Why would you want? Why would she want to do that? But can't she? That's the question. Yeah, she can. But All who right. wants to? Just like she. Listen. Let's let's say if a guy I meet a girl. He take her. He take her and anything to a, a restaurant and anything, and and, and the dinner end up costing him four hundred dollars. Can she do that herself? She yeah. can do it herself. Maybe so, she can. So so let me ask. So is she at his beck and call at that point? Nathan? No. So hold up. So if this man does something for her that she can't do for herself, anything, then shouldn't she, she she be doing something for him that he can't do himself? Why I gotta be? You gotta give something to get something. This is called life. Life is all about that's transactions. That's your story. That's, that's life. That's just what it is. Oh, that's man. Later for you in a blind date, then. Right? <laughs> well, <laughs> damn, that just went right out the window yeah, already. Yeah, later for you in a blind date. Listen, then nowadays, you got to be scared. Look, you got, you, women should be scared. So you're saying, so if a man take a woman out to eat, she's supposed to give him something in exchange? Um, more than likely, he going to want something in exchange. On the first date. He know. might not like her. She might not like him. It might not, but if he do, you know what I mean? No, nah, it don't work like that. You got to get to know a person. It ain't all about just jumping in. No, hell no. Damn. No. Damn. You might not even be interested or into him. He can say something to turn me the hell off. I'd be like, that's why I'm always driving my own car. I mean, that's smart. That's smart. ain't no way in the hell. If I, you say something I don't like, mm-hmm. I'll be back. And you just walk right out. I'm out. That's what you're supposed to do. It. I'm but, out. But a lot of women... Listen, and I'll leave the money for my own goddamn mail. 2018, though, I saw a lot of women on social media talking about how whack they do this and everything, and then two, three months later, they be in pictures with them smiling or whatever like What's that. Was it income tax time? <laughs> it could have been that. But yeah. they do it just, but just, just, just like regular 
whether it was income tax time, whether it was just a regular day and anything or whatever, they start off and anything with like, you know, um, nothing later for this MF hurt and blah, 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 this, that. Because women be in their feelings. But then you can't, po- you can't share with the world how wacky he is and then yeah, share I think with the that's world corny, and then share with the world how great he is. That's after, corny. Because it make you look like a nut. But they don't want to do it any further after that. You know what I mean? That's, that's just why you that. should never post your man. Exactly. So that's why when you said in 2019, and you know what I'm saying, yo, it's all about, you know what I'm saying, keeping your private life private, and you know what I'm saying, yo, and you know, doing what you do amongst yourself, or whatever like that, that's why I celebrate that, that's cool, I've always been about that, you know what I mean, like, why do you want to share everything with the world, you know what I'm saying, and then they judging you because of the moves that you make within it. You, what you post is what you're going to get out, whatever you post, you better be prepared of what you're going to get back from back. people, yeah, yeah exactly. So, you know, a lot, so that's, that's, that's my point. Like, whenever I see people doing it, I think, look at this idiot. That's just me. I well, I got one for you. Did you see that link I sent you? Oh, with the, uh, the twins. The, uh, the guys that look alike. They ain't cloning? Look, this fool think they be cloning. You don't think that's cloning? I mean, they might be cloning. Listen, that's, no. It could be cloning. No. Same name, same first and last name, same height, same face. Same look, same, uh, but what else? They, they both uh, had the same injury, went to the same doctor. And they both played they both um, play minor league baseball. Yeah, true. That's true. some, you don't think that's cloning? Yeah. What would you have done if you seen somebody like that? You bumped somebody. I'd be done pissed on myself or shitting on myself. That's some scary shit you're looking at yourself. You literally looking directly at your own self. <laughs> would you? <laughs> Are you crazy as hell? Would you do something to the person or would you be like. You, how can you do something because you still stuck like. It's like you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, that's crazy. I would want, like me, I would be like this. If I seen that, and I said, look, you're not brothers? No, you're not nothing. No. Let me see both of your sets of parents. I want to see where this came from. We should try to get them on the show. I mean, I'm willing to talk to them. I want I'm to see their the parents first. I'm going to have to travel. We'll get them. I'd like to travel. I got a passport now, so I'm ready. But yeah, we may have to. And so. But how would that work? Like, if they commit a crime, who you know who you going after? That's what I'm saying. So oh, you gotta go I would, hope, frame I would hope their fingerprints is different. I wonder, is it? That's crazy. Should they? That's crazy the way they look. That's they crazy. look like identical twins and they're not even related. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yo, that's cloning. So, actually, that's cloning. Anything <laughs> else? So, back to this dating thing. I was actually about not the blind date part. <laughs> that's funny. Every time I say blinded, I'm gonna think of you now. Hey, but, um, so you said you. As far as a guy, you know, saying going, you going out with a guy, he would have to show you some finer things. So that means he got to have money, right? Or some money, some type of money. Yes. So you would never talk to a guy without money. I done dealt with some broke ass niggas. <laughs> Took care of broke ass niggas in the whole nine. I done why? been there, well, done that. But why? Well, why do women do that? Why do women take care of broke guys? Because it's not all about the money. Sometimes mm-hmm. it could be he nice, mm-hmm. he treat you good, he respect you. You know, he, he might have had a hard time. He, yeah, he might have had some, some hiccups mm-hmm. down the way. Okay. But now, I, I've been down that road you one too many times. If you can't take me to the next level, ain't no need to come to come on my level. Because my thing is, I'm working on me. I'm working on my credit. I'm getting myself together. So, I need to be on the same page as the man. The man might have good credit. He don't want me coming in there. Now, my score is 475. The hell we going to buy? He gonna have to co-sign everything I need? Nah. I mean, he gonna take it back? So if I'm late on the payment, they gotta let him know? I don't want... That's embarrassing. <laughs> you said they let him know when you yeah, I'm like, uh, excuse me. Have you heard or have you seen because she's two months behind? Mm-hmm. I don't need him to know that. <laughs> True. Then he be like, well, how did you get that and that and that? And they called me saying you behind on... You went to the rent and the errands. I used to... Wait a minute now. Don't do that. Oh, Aaron's is popping. How's no, you? I ain't never been to Aaron's, but I went to Renner Center. Oh. <laughs> I got some shit from there. My I refrigerator. Know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Well, yeah. I've been there, done that. I just see the commercials on TV. Yeah. yeah they say you That's know. when when you know times was hard, when you ain't got no credit. So you go so where... Yeah. They ain't, gonna, they ain't don't do credit check. I had a homeboy who was a manager at the Renner Center. He and still did? Nah. Oh, up in Chicago. Uh, he ain't no good for me. <laughs> hey. Um... I think, no, he's home. He was locked up. Hey, but, um, he <laughs> did something because the last time I wasn't paying. Wasn't paying good. Hey, what, um, would you ever date somebody from your past? 
I did that. That's boring. Yeah. You would never go back and date somebody who you dated once upon a time before. You know what? I ain't gonna say that because you never know. It, people change. Okay. People yeah. change. Yeah. That's, something, that's something I always wonder, that Because I always hear people say, I never go backwards. I don't do backwards and blah, 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 whatever. I always, I always hear that. And I, so I wanted to know, like, yeah, is that I hear real? a lot of people say how they marry the person that they had used to date back in the day and they rekindled and it worked out this right. time. Because people, sometimes people are not mature at the time. Mm -hmm. I don't want no drama and I don't want no negativity. But I do want to see me on TV. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, look at this face. Oh! You made for TV. You made for TV. She made for TV. <laughs> she made for TV. Don't watch me. Watch me on TV. Oh, all right. Okay then. Wait, did I, that ain't how you that's supposed to say that. the radio. But this, no, keep that one. I like keep that, that. One. Don't Don't watch me watch me on TV. Yeah. I like that. That works. So that means you still don't watch me then? No, you watch on you on TV. It's not in real life, so don't watch you in real life. Watch you on TV. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Watch me on TV. Yeah. Just roll with it. <laughs> Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Don't even worry about it. It's over there. Yeah. But, um... 2019, what I want to see. I want to see, um, I want to see a lot more from, from myself and anything. I'm always trying to do some new stuff or whatever, so I don't even yeah. go into the whole resolution nonsense. Yeah. I never do. I, I never drink on this one because I'm with, what do you want to see? What I want to see from everybody else though, I do want to see originality. I don't want to see, for real, for real, I don't want to see like, um, what, what bothers me a lot is when people do stuff just because other people do it or, you know what I'm saying, people do it for the, the way. sake of, the wave. Yeah, they do based on the wave. They like, yo, if if everybody watch Bird Box, they break their neck to go watch Bird Box. If everybody say that they went to a certain restaurant, they break their neck to go to a certain. Restaurant. Okay, if stop. Every, you you can't say that because don't you want us? Don't you want people to watch us? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. Then how you gonna sit there and say that? No, nah, because this is original. Watching us is original thing. This is original. This is original show. This is, we talk about stuff that's you know what I'm saying. Or we we give them an approach from a. We might talk about stuff that other people talk about, but we give it to them from a, an original standpoint. From our, our standpoint. standpoint. And it's original. It's like, we're not riding nobody else's wave. You know, don't nobody got glasses. Nobody got glasses. Nobody got t-shirts. No oh, podcast I ain't got t-shirts. Yeah, nobody got podcasts. See how they got the box? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> smoked a little weed. I ain't probably did. <laughs> and they, you know, if I whisper something to you, why the hell would you say it out loud? I didn't say it loud. I said it low. They didn't, they didn't hear. Trust me, they didn't hear. Hey, but that's all. I just, I, like, everybody got to start doing so all of the same stuff. To. Why do you have that on? I just wonder what I have. Oh, I thought it meant something. It don't mean nothing. No. Oh. It's good. I thought that was your new company or something. Mm -hmm. But um, I, so I just want everybody to, to to be original. That's all, you know. More originality, more you know, unless you know what I'm saying riding waves and all of that stuff, man. You see a lot of people breaking their neck and going broke trying to do what they see other people do, um, and I, I think that's kind of whack. You know what I mean? It's like nobody had original thought, man. Nobody had, and so your conversations become so ridiculous because you listen to somebody say something that they heard somebody else say, and they, and that joint bothers me. Like you could listen to the radio in the morning. And then you think, um, early in the morning on your way to work, by the afternoon or late in the day, you have a conversation with somebody, and they might regurgitate that very same thing. I think that's whack. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just, yo, come up with your own thoughts. You know, um, use your own words. You know what I'm saying? Do your own thing. 2019, they think everybody should be doing their own thing. You know, I got a little issue right now. What? I can't get my tax return. You have to write the letter to Trump. Be original. <laughs> right, letter to Trump. I don't know. That could go one or two ways. <laughs> that could go one or two ways. He might, so. he might tweet about no, you. No, no, nah, man. <laughs> I don't want to be on his radar at all. Oh, oh, oh. No, he about nothing but a tweet. Yeah, <laughs> he tweeted yeah, make it happy. If, if he tweeted, if he tweeted about disturbingly random, what would you say? Would you be? Would that make you feel good or bad? No, I feel good. Yeah, I know you would. I love it. I know you would. Hey, man. That's it. We ain't doing no more. <laughs> then we're out of here. I'm, um, drink was left in my glass because I didn't get the chance to drink it. Mm. Thanks for tuning in and watching us on um, on YouTube. Um, listen to us on Anchor, on Spotify, Google Podcasts. And my GoFundMe foundation going to be up. So please go fund me because yeah. I really need to get this tummy tuck. I need this Baywatch Bay body for the summer. You, you, did, you hear me? Because I'm about to be on TV. She's serious. She's serious.
as hell. Yo, she's serious. As Yo, hell. We're gonna put the link. For the, uh, we're gonna do her GoFundMe page. And we're, gonna, we're gonna do the GoFundMe page. And we're gonna post it. And then you think the, the link is gonna be down in the down below the video down there. And they saying, um, what else? Anything else you wanna tell them? No, just smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Come on. Ah, come on. Come on. Hey, Linda, da <laughs> Yo. <laughs> 50, holla at me for that movie. I'm telling you. This is the face you want in your movie. It don't get no better than this. Yo, tune in every week, man. Check us out. All right. Um, tell your friends. Share it. Hit the button. I think it's over there. Over there a little bit. Um, it's the arrow that's pointing like that. Hit that button and share it to your friends. All right, but um, check us out. We're going to be here every week. All right, see you next time. More entertainment and more smiles and more laughs. 2019. Beware, be square. We out. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah.